It's the news we've all been waiting for. This weekend marks the official start of spring. Star on teammate meteorologist Emily Skydema is watching the skies. Yesterday, we were sent this picture of the nearly full moon. This was taken around Kent City, and Anthony sent it our way. So, a beautiful photo, but at that time, the moon was not quite full. We are getting there as early as Friday morning. So, Friday morning, that's when the moon will officially be full. It is going to look full March 17 and 18. This March full moon, known as the Worm Moon, the Sap Moon, and the Crow Moon, it's going to rise in the east around sunset, set in the west around sunrise, and it should make for a beautiful view. Now, another exciting thing happening at the start of the next week is the vernal equinox, which of course means the start of spring. So we get our seasons because the Earth is tilted on its axis about 23 and a half degrees, and that tilt is what gives us all of these different seasons. March 20, Sunday, that's when we're going to celebrate the vernal equinox. So on that day, Earth's axis is tilted neither toward or away from the sun. That means you get roughly equal amounts of daylight and darkness at all of the different latitudes. Not necessarily something you can see with your eyes, but we will continue to feel those days getting warmer, and we'll see those daylight hours get longer as we head toward the summer solstice.